You know, these Lightner Poma guys, they've been, uh, you know, slaving away working on these foundations. And, uh, you know, they're going to spend in total six or more weeks doing that. And it's, it's kind of a tough one because if you're a little further away, uh, you don't see all that action happening. And they're going to come in in one day, in a few hours, they're going to get those towers standing. And uh, it's exciting. That's the day we really have a chairlift. You know, whenever you, you build stuff in rough mountain terrain, you, you can't drive everywhere in a vehicle. You can't get the concrete truck everywhere. And, and sometimes getting the helicopter there is just the fastest, cheapest, although it's definitely not cheap, but the fastest, cheapest way to make things happen. And, and it's definitely a crowd pleaser. You know, you just got to turn the blades on that thing and everybody's stopping by to take a look. But I think something people don't realize is, you know, the bulk of the lift is below ground. It's those big foundations these guys are working so hard doing. Built by snowboarders for snowboarders. This is a Command K-Max. It's built in Connecticut. It'll lift 6,000 pounds at sea level. We tried to keep it to about 4,000 pounds up here today. The weather was a little bit of an issue but uh, a little bit windy, but we got it done before it got real bad. Behind me is Black Mountain Express. This is Arapaho Basin's first high-speed chairlift, bringing skiers and riders to Black Mountain Lodge at Mid-Mountain. Night equipment started back in 1945. My grandfather basically just made a lot of wire rope slings and sold some straight rope to a lot of the construction companies. And he also came out by train line and spliced for some of the ski lifts out here as well. Obviously, it's real difficult terrain, um, difficult foundations, structural situations, um, a lot of coordination with the client to get the project up and going. And, and uh, once we get her started, though, it's, uh, it's really up to the construction crew to get her going. And it's a big project for those guys. Engineering and the construction crews come together at the end and uh, finally get the thing working in the last week or two. And here we are today. Today we're basically what we call load testing or also called acceptance testing. Uh, testing all the safeties. Um, what we're about to do is put load representing the maximum load of people on the chairs and check the brakes for proper stopping. Uh, we've already gone through all the switches and made sure all the switches uh, work properly and stop the lift as, as they're supposed to. And I guess you know that's pretty much the size of it. That's the gist of it.
Hey!